recording again. <laughs> Streaming again. Oh, man. Technical problems. Well, just because, you know, something new and different. What's new and different? <laughs> You've been doing this for weeks now. All right. Um, hi again, stream. So oh. we just recorded like a 16-minute intro about Thanksgiving and about fun stuff and Star Trek and all that. And after all that... <sighs> And but for the record, I had everything set up fine. And I tested it and it was fine. But then the switch had to have had to have a system update, and suddenly we had no sound. We tried to play Metroid. So, <laughs> real quick, um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If you celebrated, if you didn't, happy Thursday. Um, <laughs> Picard is better than Kirk. Picard is better than Kirk. Fight us. Fight, don't fight us. <laughs> no. Just respectfully um, disagree. Okay, fine. It's okay to um, be wrong. His favorite things to give him food is cranberries. I make good cranberries. Yep. Mine is stuffing. Stuffing, stuffing yeah, the yeah, bird yeah. is better, even though it might give you bacterial infection if you don't cook it right. Um, Holy shit. It might. If people don't do it right, it can. That's why people don't do it very it's much anymore. True. But if you do it right, it's delicious. Yep. Um, and we're drinking pumpkin ginger beer. Yeah, Trader Joe's spiced ginger brew. Sp- wait, no, Trader Joe's Pumpkin Pie Spiced Ginger Brew. Yummy. Yeah, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. But please. But they can. Yeah. Please sponsor us, Trader Joe's. I, I spend yes, that in a second. I spend enough money on wine there. Like, if you gave week. us like five bucks, I'd be cool with that. So that's like half a bottle of Actually, wine. no, don't give us money. Just promote this stream on your podcast. That's what I want. Trader Joe's has a podcast? Yeah. That's you, cool. You, you just, I did not know that. You didn't see it on the on their store all the time. No, I like. I don't even look at the flyer anymore. I just watch this one girl on YouTube. Shit. What? Oh my god! Do it on camera. Oh Boom. crap! Hey. hey. Um, I watched this one girl uh, on YouTube that um, I I wish I remembered her name because I would promote just her feed. For chill, but. No, um, that's the different girl that does diaper bag vid- review videos. It's not Jessica um, Chobot. It's someone who looks just like her. Her name is Amber. Uh, she does look like Jessica Chobot, Chobot, and she looks like Tracer from Overwatch. But she is the, the sensible mama, and she does, like, diaper bag reviews in line and has, like, her own company and a store that sells, like, kid stuff She's and stuff for moms. Um yeah. No, this girl I'm talking about, her name is Katie, and she works at Trader Joe's. Oh, and she works there? Yeah, and oh. she um, basically gets the new stuff every week and does a video about it, and then she and her husband and four-year-old son, almost five-year-old son, he's a little older than our son, uh, will do a taste test and try all the new things. So, um, yeah. I, is she sponsored by them? No. No, she I just does it on her own. That, what do you mean? That's kind of, I mean, that's, that's, sometimes that's a conflict of interest, I would think. I'm sure that her manager knows that she does it. Like, she buys a ton yeah. of stuff every I mean, week. I don't know. Okay. And she's been doing it a while, so, like, I don't know. Like, I hope I don't get her in trouble with all the Trader Joe's people watching our stream and figuring this out. Well, but... if, 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 if she's in trouble now, then... It's yeah, probably, I know. So. Anyway, let's try this. Oh, yeah. Let's try this shit. Let's see. The shit. You know what I mean. We're trying to get a sponsorship here. Come on. Mm, smells good. It smells like spicy pumpkin. It smells like I can really smell the spice. Like it's mm-hmm. like I'm smelling the spice and the carbonation, but I don't really smell the pumpkin. Okay, let's try. It's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that was good. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna start my trade. Too bad. Back to the Where were we? I just beat crocodile. Crocomire. Crocomire. Sounds like a Pokemon. He Pokemon. does, actually. <laughs> Speaking of which, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, I'm going to get this one. We're playing Met- uh, not Metroid. We're playing, we're uh, playing Metroid right now. We're playing Pokemon uh, Shiny. Yeah. Pokemon. I'm going to be at... What time are you playing that? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay, I'm going to be at work. Yep. Uh, so it'll just be... Trevor and our four-year-old Kirby mm-hmm. making prime. his making his stream debut. <laughs> He's a prime Pokemon fan. He loves Pokemon. It's so cute. <laughs> I 
I don't know what we were doing. I don't either. Okay. Oh, so this is the. Oh, we were. We. Oh, so you just defeated him. Yeah. So we have to. As I go right into the water, oh, I guess it didn't hurt me. I'm not sure that's water. Whatever. Just read the stream out real quick. Whoop! Hey, that worked out. Whoa! Ooh, farming. Oh, I could go that way. Let's see. I'm gonna farm for a bit. There's no O in super. What? Jesus did not have wheels. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's a Simpsons reference for y'all. Oh, save spot. Cool. It doesn't sure, matter. Why not? I know. I'm just. I want it to turn pink. So that I know I've been here. Oh, fair enough. <sighs> yes. Okay. 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 Jesus. We. Oh, what's down here? Right out, Craig and Dread. I always get the two streams confused. Like, oh, I could do this. No, I can't. Just kidding. Yeah, there's a times where I'm, when I'm playing Dread. Yeah. That I, that I think, oh, well, no problem. I'll just, make a, I'll just make a save state right here. Yay, more missiles. Like, wait, this is a modern game. <laughs> cool. Missiles. Ah, mommy. Mommy, mommy, mama, 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 mama. Ooh. Do you think Samus likes Thanksgiving? I mean, I, I think we've discussed this before how uh. Samus doesn't really get to have a life outside of her, like, mission. She's like Ripley. And she, like, like that's why she gets fast food instead of, like, a steak dinner. You know, she. Like, is always on the go. So I don't think she gets to enjoy Thanksgiving and the blessings of Thanksgiving with family. Probably hard. Which is kind of sad. Our family's dead. My parents are dead. They are. <laughs> who ate their corpses. This is no joke. This is actual lore. Ridley. Yeah, Ridley ate their corpses. You've told me that before. Yeah. He ate everyone on the planet, to be fair, but her. Yeah. And he remembers. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Oh, he does? Mm -hmm. That's funny. I should have eaten you too, Sam. Speaking of creepy stuff in Nintendo lore, <laughs> um, if you want to, if you guys want to read like the most These like uh, screaming little faces, darkest, those are creepy. Darkest, like most craziest, like official character lore in all of Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Read like the backstories for some of like the ghost type Pokemon. It's really freaking like effed up, basically. Mm, okay. Like Cubone wears the skull of his mother. Oh, yeah, I remember Stuff you like telling that. me that. I'm like, but it's a little cute guy, and he wears the skull of his mother? That's yeah. so fucked up. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a memory of this area. I have no memory of this it's, place. No, it's been a long time since I played this game all the way. Whoa, I'm dying. No, no, mommy, no, mama. You know what? Save states are probably my friend. They are your friend. How do I get those to go up? Like what? What do you mean? Like I want, I want to go up there. Okay. So how do I? I think you have to jump on them. I keep jumping on. It goes down. Yeah. Rigby goes down. Igby? I don't know. Igby. Igby, that's what it is. That movie with Wallace, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, how do I get up there? 
was again. I've been rereading the Scott Pilgrim comics. Oh yeah. And uh, I just read that part. Those are good comics. This is my gay room. This is this is Scott's gay roommate Wallace. Hey, this is my boyfriend Jimmy. Hey. hey. <laughs> it's so funny. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. God, that that movie is so great. I love that movie so much. Hey Jimmy, do they rock? Do they suck? They yeah, have not started playing yet. That was a test, Jimmy. <laughs> you passed. <laughs> okay, wait. All right, so there has to be a way. Because I'm stuck down here now. Sucks to be you. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't know. Douche. You're a douche. You're a douche. All right, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to figure this out. All right. By the way, if y'all haven't seen the uh, uh, Twitter advertisement I did for uh, Mars Pokemon stream, it's pretty cute. You took Kirby's Pokemon. Yeah, I, I wanted to do it at work when I, oh. Ooh, what are those? I keep forgetting what that symbol is. What that symbol is. I have the thing for that, don't I? I think so. Is, is that the super bombs? I believe so. No. No, it's not. I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> Hold on. It's not ice. It's not ice. Probably goes without saying. Mm. <clears throat> once this loses, once this ginger brew, this pumpkin ginger brew, this is its uh, busyness. It's not as good. Yeah, I feel like that's. <sighs> yeah, you getting super. You getting it super fast though. So. No. Hmm. There has to be, There's right? Always a way. Fuck. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. Uh, love it away from that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, I'm stuck. I don't know. Yeah, there. I know. Oh. <laughs> I would. Okay, well, we'll just go back to here because I didn't save a suspend point. <gasps> I need to remember to do that. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Okay. Well, now I know not to uh, do the thing that I did before. Super Metroid. Whoa. Oh, that's right. I can farm here for a bit. Okay, awesome. oh. okay, so we'll go here and I'll do this so that I can say that I've been here. Uh oh. You know what? What? Um, go back to where you fought Krakenmeyer. Okay. Um, this is the guy from IGN. Okay. Um, 
After you defeat Harkemeyer, head back towards the hatch you entered through. Here? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, mm. Don't go up? Hold on. Let me just read through this real quick. I'm confused. Okay. After you defeat Krakenmeyer, head back towards the hatch you entered through, pass it, and approach the spikes on the adjacent wall. Here? The spikes on the adjacent wall. I mean, I think that's here. The camera will freeze, and eventually the wall with the spikes will collapse. Okay. Oh, oh, this is after you, this is after you, this is after you die. Krakenmeyer's Krakenmeyer's skeleton pops up, okay. Yeah. So there's no threat, and it collapses into the wall. When it, wait, when it, when it collapses... When it collapses wall into the room, which was, what? Which was once blocked by a wall of spikes, so that's the left side. This room is full of lava and a couple of pillars sticking out. Use these pillars to reach the blue hatch at the left side of the screen. Which is what we were doing. Okay. Oh, you hit the grapple beam now. Sweet. I do? Yeah, apparently. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to get is the grapple beam, because we defeated Krakow to Poopy. <laughs> What's his name? Krakowatapoopy. 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 Um, okay. Krakowatapoopy um, in the panty. What? I don't know. Um, this room is full of lava with a couple of pillars sticking out. Use the pillars to reach the blue hatch at the left side of the screen. And I'm now I'm in this room. Farming. Um, as the blue hatch you will, as the blue hatch you will exit and Samus will be standing on a ledge. The flying of the overhead. You're at, yeah, you're in my room. Drop down where you are now. Good. And enter the blue hatch on your right. This is a save room, save your date, save your date and exit. Continue <laughs> Continue to proceed away from the save room until you see the blue hatch on the ground. This is the hatch on the ground below. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh don't this hatch. You will fall down a large drop. With a couple of hatches. D down, down. Oh, you don't want me, they don't want me to go in here? Just drop yet? down. Okay, fine. I did drop down. No, all the way. The fall down a large drop with a couple of hatches. Ignore the blue hatch immediately to your left and drop down. Enter the first red hatch. Oh, I did that already. Let's do it. Oh, let's do, hold on. You do it. Because I keep forgetting to do this, and I'm doing this all over again. Cool beams. Okay. Okay. In this room, there are craters which fill with lava, so carefully time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you proceed forward past the craters and use the same time to safely make your way across the pillars over the spikes. So be careful. Don't bunk it up. <sighs> missile tank, yep. Yeah. Take the missile tank and leave through the hatch you through. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I did that already. You just did it. Right, I have to do it again because I died. And I bunked didn't. it up. <sighs> Let me farm for a sec. Uh, I suggest you drink your drink as soon as possible. Will. It's all not busy anymore. Yummy. Mm. <sighs> okay. Ignore the green orb like enemies and drop down to the very bottom of this area until you can see a blue hatch on the ground. That's what I did before. Shoot that door. <clears throat> In this area, shoot the flying enemies to your left, then morph and super bomb the area to dispose of all the blocks in the way. What blocks in the way? Super bomb. I mean, uh, Blocks the way. Oh, thieves? And to your left.
this? No, to the left. Left, 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 left. More left? That's what it says. All right. Oh, fuck. Get out of there. Go to the right, okay. It's, it's written weirdly. And misspelled quite a bit. And this is IGN? Yeah, fix your old ass walkthroughs IGN. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you IGN. So this is probably the grapple. Why would that be the grapple that's so low? I don't know, babe, I'm just guessing. Okay, go to the right. Ooh. Wait. Uh, wait. Yeah, these the blocks in the way. I go to the left. Oh, okay, with that. It's I guess barely to the left. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Immediately whatever. to the left. IGN. Okay. Let's do this before. Okay. What was the point of that? Don't actually, don't actually know. Whoa! Whoops! I didn't need to do that. Another one. Oh crap! It's the last one. I know. What does it say to do? Okay, hold on. Um. Oh. Okay. Um, walk to the right of this room until you reach a wall. Do that. Um, so this is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, you're going to speed boost your left through the barriers. When you reach the top of a small slope, don't do it yet. When you reach the top of a small slope, jump so Samus will flip, still in speed boost, through the air, and up to a ledge at the top of the left room. So I'm going to the left? You're going to speed boost, like run as fast as you okay. can and then jump at the end of it. Jump right here, there, basically. Oh, okay, got it. That's what you're doing. Okay, got it. So you're going to jump all the way up to that freaking door. All right, door. cool. you to time it perfectly. Top. I know. Before that. I know. I'm getting it. I'm probably gonna die, and then I'll try again. Okay. There you go. Nice, go me. As I have energy, no energy. energy oh wait. There you go. Hey. Hey. Go me. All right. I'm gonna keep walking you through anyways. No, I'll go from here. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Kind of to farm, basically. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Go me. All right. So. This is the whole lot of stuff. Jump up. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. You gotta hold on to it and hold the beam when you do it. Wait. Laughing at me. Ooh! Ah! I'm falling to death! Go. I didn't mean to let go. Do I have to hold X? Yes! I just oh. said that like a billion times. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Could drive back down and like swap across, I guess. What's the fun in that? I'm just saying, you could have gone to. And I say, what's the fun in that? Whatever. <laughs> It's not moving. Okay, I guess I have to drop um, down. As I die. <laughs> I should have, should have screenshotted it, you know, when you had full energy and then jump, just turn to somebody. <laughs> yeah. You go up to, I think. Yeah, you can go up to. In that tunnel there. Oh. In here? Yeah, see, there's the blue you go up to. Mm -hmm. There's a little block right there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey. Oh, wait. Yeah. Ugh. Hold on, I'll get it. I have to hit X. It helps to hit X, huh? It does. <laughs> it or not. I think it hit at an angle. Yeah, I'm trying to do that too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, let's find somewhere to kill some shit. Get some energy. Before I can't just be seen with the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So oh, this gives this me the opportunity to jumpy water thing. This gives me the opportunity to practice this a little better. <sighs> it was a lot harder back than they had the original control. I know. I'm sure it was. It was. Yep. I did not swing well. Swing well. I I keep holding that. There's a way to keep the beam like extended as you swim, I think. Uh, I'm just so trying to get the. How to do it. Going between the joystick and the D pad is screwing me up. Then don't do that. Here we go. Ugh. Do me a favor. What? Next time you hang there, press down on the D pad while you're doing it. Okay. If I can do it again. You will. First time you do that. There you go. Nice. Back swing. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Thank you. Let's try to remember how to do it. It's been a bit of time. Yeah, give me. I know. She's not swinging. There she goes. Nice. Whoa. Now the two test begins. Probably do it from there when the water's low. 
I don't remember that. It's in the second one. Oh, so yeah, I haven't seen the second one. You haven't seen the inferior sequel? <laughs> no. Maybe an unpopular opinion. I don't think Ghostbusters 2 is that bad. I think that is an unpopular opinion. It's not It's not that great. It's not... Oh, I'm dead. It's a 6 out of 10. Right. But it's not, like, horrible. Right. Whoa, wrong thing. It's got a bad case of sequelitis. You know, mm -hmm. bad. Swing, bitch. It's a carbon copy of the first film. There we go. <sighs> it's kind of the laziest sequel, honestly. Actually, no, the laziest sequel of all time goes to uh, Hangover 2. Oh, yeah, that was basically the same movie. Yeah. That I have seen. What's that? Ooh! I farm now. Don't use your grapple game for this. Use your, like, spread. Oh, my regular one? Yeah, that's a good call. I know, it's hard to move. Stop. I need to go side to side. It'd be easier. What do you mean? Just go left and right. And you do it. Then stay in one spot. Go to the right. 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 Okay. Uh, My max out on energy. Oh, super ball. Okay, full energy again. Yeah. Yay. Give me another bomb. Give me another one. Give me another one. The bomb. Give me another one. Fuckers. Give me another one. <laughs> Stingy little motherfuckers. Give me another one. Let's spread out first. Maybe I'll do that. No. Nope. Oh, I don't like you. Whatever. I don't like them either. Do you say to me all the time. I know. I'm just saying I don't like them either. I don't like you. Oh, thank you, CXC. Who? Uh, people like, like, two people like that. I tweeted out the Pajama Crew. That's a cool Twitter name. That is a cool Twitter name. I like uh, that. And CXC. Actually, uh, so thank you guys for retweeting our tweet. Hope you're watching. Cool. Um, Hi, guys. If you're watching, say something in the chat. Say something. Hi. Um, oh, I, can't, I don't want to say it out loud, actually. What? <laughs> um, so, actually, uh, this is exciting. Earlier today, I finished our Christmas letter uh, for the year. Our holiday mm -hmm. letter, that is. Yeah. Um, well, I, I wrote the rough draft. Yeah, so I need done. to proofread it and so She proofreads edit it. and edits a lot better than I can. So, yeah. she's going to do that part. Yeah. Um, but I finished the rough draft, which is awesome. I and, always uh, edit his writing. <laughs> what? I always edit your writing. Well, I make a good effort. You do, I'm and not, I, just, I just improve it, upon it. I mean, I shouldn't say that myself. Anyway. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> we both have master's degrees in I screen screenwriting. Writing. But, like, I'm a better editor and yeah. rewriter, and you're, like, better at, like, conce concepts and ideas. I'm the George Lucas. And I'm the Marsha Lucas. No, you're, uh, as I say, you're the Steven Spielberg. But I, I, I'll i take Steven Spielberg. Like, absolutely. By the way, Marsha Lucas, mm -hmm. um, just recently, like, what, what the hell? What happened? What'd she do? Um, so, actually, let me finish the first thought before we get on, get on to that. Um, but when I write, yeah, I, 
one of the things I like to do is use Ugh. is use interesting synonyms. Because <laughs> you know, like you get tired of the same, right. the same word over and over again. Right. So like, and I, I like to that. use just sprinkle in a little bit of colorful vocabulary. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So I was looking for synonyms for the word pleasure. And as you do, he was using a th- the source. The source dot com, which is very good. <sighs> and one of the, I didn't end up using it for the letter, but one of the synonyms for the word pleasure was a term I'd never heard before. The term was beer and skittles. <laughs> I mean, obviously, pleasure. And the example in the sentence below it said, "Life's not life's not always beer and skittles." <laughs> and I find that just lovely and hilarious. That was really funny. And I I want to use it for something, but well, I don't know what. Beer and skittles. <laughs> that was such a weird combination. <laughs> I know. And then Ashley broke my heart about skittles. <laughs> I didn't know this. It made me very sad. Well, and I haven't determined if it's actually true. I found it. I had heard that all the Skittles, because all Skittles taste the same. They just have different food coloring and that. smells. And like, I found articles from like the Independent UK, like a like a like an actual publication, saying this is true. Well, then the Skittles people like deny it. So who knows, really? Because they want to keep the dream alive. That's why. <laughs> Okay. I am not shooting correctly because I have the grapple on. I'm not good at switching between the weapons. Oh, golly, so you bitch. Should, so should have beard skittles on this show. This That'd be funny, awesome. yeah. It's probably horrible. Beard and skittles together? Beer yeah, and probably. Skittles together, yeah. Get out. Oh, I keep missing it. Oh, I said it should be a podcast. That's what I said. That's what you said. TM, we're going to take that podcast name. Nice. If it doesn't always already, if it's not already. Fuck! Oh, I need to jump further. I think that's a problem. Ooh. Do you like Skittles? Eh. Not really. They're all right. I mean, I clearly, I think they all taste the same. Yeah. <laughs> so... No, Clearly, no I'm not. I how many candies taste the same. Like, do all gummy bears taste the same? I just don't know it. Oh, that would upset you. Your like one of your favorite candies is gummy bears. Yeah, what's my favorite color? Your favorite color is like the clear ones. Yeah, little pineapple ones. Yeah, mm. they must taste different. Or is it like that's your perception of reality? Are they matrix candies? <laughs> yes, we're all in the matrix. Fuck. I wonder if that new movie will be good. Probably not. I mean, given the Wachowskis' recent track record, no offense, Wachowskis, if you're watching. <laughs> I mean, one good movie. The Matrix. Yeah. And a bunch of other stuff. Actually, uh, oh. not, not, not Lana, Lana's doing the new, new, new Matrix movie. Uh, Lily Wachowski's new show is really good. What's her new show? It's on, uh, I think, Showtime? Showtime, I think? I don't know. It's called uh, Work in Progress. Oh, I've heard and, uh, of she's that. A, she's a writer on it. I don't, I don't think she's directed anything on it, but she's a writer on it. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. It's not what you would think she would write either. So. Oh, that's cool. Fuck. It, it's about, um, it's about, um, LGBT people living in, um, modern day Chicago. Cool. It's about all their just their stories and their journeys. I'm not timing there. that well. I, I think they hire all. I think all the people, all the actors in it are actually. Um, there we go. Finally. Are actually the the the, the um, lifestyles of their characters. Mm-hmm. So the trans people are actually trans, and you know, gay people are actually gay, whatever. You know, all that. Ah. All right. You know, the show was really good until the the lead star became an asshole. What? Uh, as a uh, transparent was really good. Oh yeah, you really liked that show. It was good. I didn't really watch it. Everyone except um, Jeffrey Tambor was actually trans. trans and, yeah, so yeah. They had a lot of actors who. Yeah. She's 
She's not swinging. Why aren't you swinging? There we go. They did that show the movie too. Did they? Yeah, um, I didn't watch it the movie yet. It was basically killing off Jeffrey Tambor's character, right? Um, no. Oh. Well, well, she died before the movie. Okay. Apparently. Like they, it starts out with one of the other supporting characters calling his cross. Boom. I'm sorry. Her. Calling her ex-wife and saying that she passed away. Okay. And then the ex-wife, the matriarch of the family. Right. Um, she had this whole. She had this whole um, subplot throughout the show. Okay. Of uh, she wanted to. She was trying to fulfill her lifelong ambitions of becoming a stage actress. Okay. So she was like. At the end of the How final se- at the end of what, what, right. at the end of the second to final season, she got the chance finally to perform on stage. Yeah. And so the whole movie apparently is her crafting a stage show about her late spouse. Okay, interesting. So, to honor her memory. Okay. And that's how it ends, I guess. Uh, oh, you know what else is getting a movie apparently to end it? <laughs> what? But, um, Zoe's Playlist. Uh, oh, yeah, it's getting a holiday movie. I saw that. I wanted to watch more of that. I liked Jean Levy a lot. Apparently it was a good show. It just got canceled after two seasons. Mm-hmm. I hate when that happens. Mm-hmm. She's had a few of those now. That sucks. I really liked that um, Suburbia show she was on. Suburgatory. That's what it was yeah, called. Yeah, that got too early, too. Yeah. There we go. Hey, you might want to... Yeah. Um, I didn't watch much of that show, but <laughs> I, I liked what I saw of it. Yeah, me too. I really liked it. I like what's her face. Um, hmm. The stepmom... Not not her stepmom, you know, like the girlfriend of uh, um, her dad. Yeah. What's her name? I don't uh, remember. Cher- Cheryl. Mm-hmm. Cheryl something. You know, she's funny. Whoa. Also, Jen Lee was really good in uh, Evil Dead. She was, yeah. That was that was the Evil Dead remake was really good. And we weren't expecting a ton out of it. No. At least I wasn't. Like, usually no, yeah. that situation that's not the best, she was really good. It was, like, a pleasant surprise. And I think the people who, who have the big complaint about it are dumb. What's the big complaint? It, people said this, too. Okay. They said, it's not that it's bad, it's just another Cabin in the Woods movie. And, like, it's the original Cabin in the Woods movie. <laughs> It, it, it yeah, have they not seen you can't fucking... Remake, you can't remake Evil Dead and have it not be in the cabin. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, unless you're doing Army of Darkness, but... Ugh. This is the toughest one. <laughs> That's like saying, like, I don't like this Titanic movie. It's on a boat. I don't like Star Wars. It's in space. Although, to be fair, when Disney bought like, someone and started doing Star Wars again. What? Um, our, remember when we all thought, hey, Star Wars every Christmas, awesome. Yeah. And then a, very, like, two, a couple years in, we're like, yeah, maybe not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take a break, guys. I mean, Disney's done alright with Star Wars. Yeah. More hits than misses. Yeah. Some pretty big misses. I mean. Fuck! I should have held that. Episode it. nine was a not miss. Good. I mean, it's a again six out of ten. Right. That's not the one you bunk it up on, though. Like, if you were gonna make a bad one, you could have made like Solo bad. I didn't think Solo was. Bad. I didn't. I didn't either. This is what I'm saying. We're in the minority, apparently. So. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't Rogue One or anything, but... I really liked Rogue One. Rogue One's good stuff. That was great. But our son didn't like it. What? Our son didn't like it. I know. I put it on for him. He likes the other Star Wars movies. So I, I put it on for him one day, like last week Sorry. or something like that. 
There we go. And um, he wasn't into it. He was, at, he, I, he was like maybe 20 minutes in, he was asking me for other videos, basically. Yeah, like, no, Daddy. Okay, let me go to the map really quick. Okay, so I did all down there. What's that little blue square that I didn't go to? That doesn't matter. Okay. I guess we'll go back up and go this way. Something well, you, you, you haven't done. That I haven't done yet, I know. Okay. So, yeah. Probably a crap place to live on that view. Yeah, probably. Oh, hello. Mr. Bean in a gravel bean. No! Get to that good kind in the swing. I know. Yeah. That was not flair. <sighs> Your flair. Your flair. Your flair. I said flair. F W E H. Okay. Flair. <laughs> I don't know if I'd buy that again. Yeah, that's all right. It's good that the first taste, then it's kind of like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? Power bombs. Hey. Cool. Can ostentatious. I... Seriously. I guess there's nothing below the ostentatious. Okay. Yes. Yes. Ostentation. I don't know. Wow, why did I do that? I guess I could just do this again. We. I'll wait for it to go back up. Woo! I remember that uh, bad guy I made up for my comic strip called Ostentasia. Yeah! <laughs> you need to draw your comic strip again. His comic strip idea is brilliant. Yeah. It's pretty good. I want, uh, that's part of the larger project of all this. Yeah. Um. I need to come up with an idea. Stream, maybe you can help me with this. I need to come up with an idea for like a weekly comic strip. Like something that can be like open enough to be like whatever I want to do that week, you know? Maybe like a title and like a, you know, I don't know. I have lots of other ideas for comics where I can like do like a short, you know, run or whatever. I'm getting there. I was say that's the way to do it, actually. <laughs> no! No! I guess the it would make sense that your reward for doing this right is the energy tank. Ugh, fuck. I need to give myself more space. Ugh, okay. I'm facing the wrong direction. I don't know if you get backwards. There aren't people Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Energy tank! Ugh. 
Did I have to finish this game? What do you want to stream after that? The Lego game you bought me. Oh, yeah, the DC uh, Lego. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. I love Lego games. You guys, I love Lego games. It's not even funny. Like, I have a problem. You're going to see when I stream this Lego game, I'm going to have to get 100% and everything. I'm going to have to click all the little things. You, it, like, he'll be annoyed. You'll be annoyed. It'll be awesome. I won't be annoyed. I'm sitting here just doing whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, when I I still have my Xbox 360, and I still have a bunch of Lego games on there I haven't finished. And someday, when we have a bigger place and a game room, I will hook up my Xbox 360 and I will stream those games because I well, love. You won't, you won't have to because I love the Lego games. They're amazing. You won't have to do that because um, I think they're all backwards compatible. So by the time you get an Xbox Series X, you just play them on that. On the Xbox Series X, cool. <laughs> all my 360 games, sweet, <laughs> amazing. Oh, hello. What are you? Die, die, die. My friend. My little bubble give, friend. Give us a kiss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to deal with the seahorses. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that help. So You're helpful. Welcome. This game came out in 1994. I was 10. I was 12. Whoa. Other things that uh, came out in 94 uh, the movie Speed with Keanu Reeves. Mm. Um. The Simpsons went into syndication that year. Cool. Um, my parents got divorced that year. Aw. Sadness. Depends on how you look at it. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I mean, good for... Good in the long run. <laughs> time was... At the time, probably sadness. I'll just tell this quick story stream. Okay. So, um, basically, um, my parents divorced when I was 12. In 94. And... <laughs> Um, I saw it coming a mile away. I really of course didn't. you did. Fuck. They. I mean, like they. Not they, you. They've been, they've been fighting for frickin' ever. And I know. They, they just. It was not working. Not at all working. Okay. So like. You know it, what I'm gonna do before I. Like, and when I say it, when I say energy. that, when I say that, it was not working for years. It was a long time. You know. Um. Shit. Oh shit. <laughs> no, I, I did another one. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. What are you doing? I'm trying to get back to the. Okay. There we go. Um, so let's. Yeah, so, I, you know, if anyone who's had divorced parents knows how this goes. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's the family meeting and they tell you what's going on. Um, and my, my opinion as a 12 years old was just like, yeah, okay, well, it's all this coming, you know? Not a surprise at all. And, um, but my sister, my sister, who was nine at the time, uh, was wrecked by it. Of course she was. Yeah. Just, like, in tears, the whole shebang, you know. Yeah. Not mocking her at all. This is, this is how it no, was. No, I know. Um, I know you're not mocking her. Yeah. And if she would be inclined to watch a game stream, she would not think you're mocking her either, probably. Yeah. It was a fun time. Yeah. Happy topic for the game stream. No, but, you know, now they're, I know. Both, now they're basically both remarried and... Happy. Yeah, and they can be in the same room finally. Oh my god, right? Yay. Well, so they don't speak to each other. No, they don't, but they can be there. <laughs> took 20 years, but whatever. Yeah. Yay, progress. Fuck! Progress. Progress? Question mark. <laughs> so how am I gonna do this? You have to like jump and do it again in midair. <sighs> Crap. <sighs> yeah. So good times. Yeah. Good times were had by all. Wait. Um. Hit the map real quick. 
with the pulse button. I don't need anything over there. Uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out where you're supposed to go. go. I could go back down this way. Yeah, if you want to go back to Brinstar right away, but I mean, there's stuff. There's stuff over here. Yeah, let's go back this way. You're right. You're right. Looking no, no, at I'm, not, I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying no, to... look. I know you're not trying to be right, but like seriously, looking at the map is probably the best idea. Okay, so I go down here. How do I get back over there? So let's, let's look at the map again. <laughs> okay, so I have to go down, and then I have to go around. It's our friend, the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Is that um, that's this, this? no, that's Dora. Dora, 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 Dora the, the Explorer. Explorer. Dora. So our kids have not watched Dora yet. Um, I worked on it for a while at my job. And he would sing it, and then people would be like, "You have kids, don't you?" And he'd be like, "No, no, not yeah, no, I didn't have kids at the time." Yeah. I used to. I I I had a job at a post production facility where I had to work on Dora the Explorer oh, and, and other shows. But like, there, were, there were days where I had to work an entire 10-hour shift on nothing but Dora the Explorer. Dora, Dora. Well, you'd work rather work on Dora than, like, the Kardashians. Oh, yeah, I, I was giving that choice a lot of the time. Um, my, my boss would say, hey, you can work on Kardashians all day, or you can work on, on uh, Dora, Dora the Explorer. I was like, Dora. Dora, Dora. 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 And everyone thought it was crazy. Like, like what would you do with Dora? I'm like, because I can't stand the Kardashians. Yeah. And they were like, well, you could look at hot ladies. I'm like, I, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. You maxed out. No, that's why. I need that. So I, I watched Dora instead. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Screenshot this now. Um, yeah, so I had to, like, literally, I work on, like, 80 episodes a day sometimes. 80-something episodes a day. <laughs> So I had to hear over and over again. Do 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 Dora, do 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 Dora, Dora 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 the Explorer, Dora. Who's that super cool Explorer, Dora? Grab your, grab your backpack. Let's go, jump in. Vamanos, you can lead the way. Hey hey hey. Do do Dora, do do Dora, do do Dora, do do Dora. Swiping, no swiping, swiping, no swiping. Oh man. Dora the Explorer! Yeah, I would go to lunch in the middle of that day after doing like 40 episodes of that show. And uh, people, would, people would turn around. I'd be in line like at Quiznos or something. And I'd be humming that song to myself. Da -da -dora. Da -da -dora. And some other mom would, some mom would like in front of me would turn around and be like, You have kids, don't you? I'd be like, No. Like, no, I work on the show. And someone had their kids with them one time and I said that. And they were like, oh, yeah, what's on your favorite show? And I was like, I just do the sound. I don't, like, I don't do I don't, it. like, produce anything. This is ominous. What opens the orange ones? I think these. Oh, yeah. You gotta duck down. Below. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I need that. Unselect. You're right. This is ominous. I uh, know. Do you remember what this is? No. Is there a boss here? Is it Ridley? It might be Ridley, I don't know. Oh, it's... Is there a reason I can't get through yet? Am I not ready to fight Ridley? I don't know. Can you Google it? There's gotta be a way, I don't remember how to do it.
Um, where are you now on, on, on the map? On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. Just not fair. Uh-huh. Um, I still need a criteria. I don't know how to do that. What? I still need a good criteria. I don't know how to do that. Is there a criteria yet? I don't know. There's Brinstar. I probably have to go through Brinstar to do it. But there's like blue stuff up there I haven't done. And that one little blue circle square over there. That's weird. Yeah, so this looks like a boss I can't get to yet. Yeah, it's probably Ridley. Yeah. Can you say, like, Norfair, Ridley, like, what I have to do to have it be available? I'm trying to figure out what we did after the grapple you important for this offer. <sighs> yeah. Uh, hold please. Uh, um, what were we talking about before I decided I needed to know what was happening? Ooh, one of my mini packages is getting delivered tomorrow. Mini packages I, or many? Many. I ordered a bunch of stuff that on Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. Mostly clothes for the children, because Kirby over Christmas, oh, it was, the stream probably doesn't care about this. Um, our son has discovered he, that he loves sweatpants. Like, I always dressed that child in, like, leggings growing up, and then uh, lately some joggers, and then I put a pair of sweats that we had gotten as a gift on him, and they are, like, his favorite pants ever. Like, he was carrying them around the house. Like, even after, like, he's four and he had a little accident even after that he was carrying them around the house like he wanted the back on so like gap was having a sale so i ordered him a bunch of sweats yeah i'd say don't try this right now try something good to really okay do. i'll go do one of those other blue things going all over the place in this walk through so. okay exit let's go let's go this way oh well, i may have to get whatever it, it, it is that you need to withstand the uh, the lava lava to go down was it another Varia suit? Some... Varia suit 2.0 I can't remember I think it's I, I, I'm i just teasing I don't know let's use the map to figure out that's what I'm doing I'm glad I know Good. I'm glad that you're glad oh wait Run! Oh, hello! He's dead. Oh. It's gonna blow! It's gonna blow, mommy! Run, mommy! Okay. Oh, right. Whoa! Ducking would help. Also, not dying would help. I'm all the way back here. <laughs> yeah. Gotta make states. I know, I keep forgetting. Fuck! So is this like the inspiration for Alien, or is Alien the inspiration for this? Uh, the latter. Okay. Hey, that was good. I'll just do this. Well, the original was was inspired by Alien, obviously. Obviously. That was eighty six. Yeah. And that was the, oh the same year that uh, Aliens came out. So cool. Aliens would not have any influence on the original, but probably not this to a degree. Okay, so we'll go. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I freaking love yeah. these movies. I know you, you probably talked about that in the, in the stream before. Yeah, I think so. Um, that's the Ridley thing we can't get into. Or yeah, right, 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 right. Ridley, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Ridley's the last one I fired, probably, right? I probably said, uh, I don't remember. Okay. I, it's been so long. It's been um, so long. 
Mm. I, I, probably this, I probably mentioned this too as well, but um, I, have, I have an unpopular opinion about those movies. You do? Yeah. Okay, what is it? I think movie two is superior. That's just my Oh, I agree with that. They're both classics. Right. They're both very, very, very good. And the first one's better for its time. I, I think Aliens has aged better. I mean, if you're going to say what, which is purely scarier, the first one is. It ducked. Um, but part two is a better alarm movie, in my opinion. Hmm. Part two's not, not without scares, either. Fuck! Like, okay. I will never forget how terrible... Uh, granted, I was six in the movie theater when I went to go see Aliens. Yeah, <laughs> Kids, don't take your six-year-old to see Aliens. My dad took me at the tender age of six years old. Because he wanted to see it. it was, it's weird, too, because he was always super strict about what I could and couldn't watch. Unless he but wanted then, to like, see it. He wanted to see Aliens when it was in theaters. Duck all the way down. I did duck all no, the way down. No, as a ball. Oh! Oh. Um, there, see. Um, yeah, so my dad was always really strict about what I could and couldn't watch. Yeah. But, like, he, he wanted to go see Aliens, and it was in theaters in 86. And, but he just happened to be watching me that day while my mom was at work or whatever. I don't know why he wasn't at work. I have no idea. Well, he was, but, like, construction. Didn't he, like, kind of make his own schedule? I think so. so. So, yeah, he's at home babysitting, you know, all babysitting. Yeah, you uh, okay? N another thing, another thing. Parents, parents, if you are the father of the baby, you are not a babysitter. You are a parent. He does not babysit his children. He parents his children. <laughs> babysitter. I didn't, that, that's a the tongue. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I don't get any. Yeah, so I was at home shit. with him, and you know, on but alone. Uh, in, 86. Go that way. And uh, he, he was he had this personal dilemma of wanting to see the movie, but he <laughs> had me. So um, he his decision, he had an extremely wise, good parenting decision, <laughs> was to take me to see Aliens at six years old. Oh, is that not working? Shit. No, it's not. Oh, wait. Ugh, what kills that? Maybe it's for long. Nope. Ugh. Oh. Deselect. Eh. Can you grab across the top? I mean, maybe. Let's go back that way. Yeah, so my dad took me to see aliens and I was six and my he basically told me, he said, Don't tell your mom. <laughs> it's amazing that they're divorced. Right? <laughs> so huh. um I hmm. that's the first time I ever saw anything really <laughs> scary in my life. And Whoa. it was not an okay experience for me. So he probably told his mother. I don't remember. Wait. I'm sure she found out. Oh, probably. I don't remember. I, I don't remember how she found out, but you didn't tattletale. No, I didn't. You didn't snitch. But the, the thing was, I didn't really watch the stitches. movie because it was because it, you know, it's kind of boring in the beginning for a kid, especially. It's, like, yeah. it's just talking and blah blah blah. But then, like when the scary stuff started, I hid my head in my hands most of the time. Oh, poor Trevor. Remember what Ripples did uh, in the Haunted Mansion? Oh yeah, I'm a bad parent. I didn't scream. Or, I didn't scream, but I cried and like got scared. Oh, he was like the parents that you saw in Freddy vs. Jason, where yeah. people were like, like "What this. the fuck, dude?" I was like this in the theater the whole time. I heard screaming. Like daddy. Alien screaming. Daddy, I don't want to watch this, daddy. Yeah, basically. Daddy, daddy, I'm scared, daddy. 
And I, I don't. I, I didn't. So I didn't really watch the movie. I didn't have any recollection of what had happened at all. That's sad. But I there is one part of the movie that I, I is scarred me forever. Mm-hmm. It still scares me when it comes up when I watch it now. I love it now, but this part still scares me. It's when they find the hive in the beginning, you know, mm-hmm. or, or the nest or whatever. Yeah. And they find the colonists. And they're all strung up on the walls and stuff. Oh. And they lift that one girl's head and her eyes shoot open. Yeah. That, that part. I oh. remember seeing that in the theater where, like, her eyes shot open and she's like, she's like, please kill me. And you're like, as a six-year-old, you're like, ah! Yeah. Why, Daddy, why? And I, and I had no idea about the aliens, like, coming out of your chest and never never seen that before. And like, uh-huh. it happened with that girl and I was just like, <gasps> Like it really you bothered. had nightmares for like I, days. I really did. No, this is true story. Yay, Actually, parenting decisions. That night when I went home, this is true. That night when I went home and went to bed mm-hmm. that night, I held my stomach all night. I didn't oh, want, I didn't want you didn't want the out. alien to come out. Yeah. Oh, Steve, look what you did to him. <laughs> and every, t- every time my stomach would move, I'd get freaked out. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have an alien pop out of my chest, mommy. Oh, my God. <laughs> you had to have told your mom after that, right? Probably did. <laughs> Daddy took me to see this really scary movie and I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will never do it to my kids. No. We the only thing that we traumatizing thing that we did was we took Jack on Haunted Mansion. It was not planned. And it was not planned to do it that way, and we had been like like we were her first. Is there no grappling anything? I don't see. I don't oh, you have to go anything. across this way. Yeah. And shoot it with a. Mm hmm. I should probably shoot it. Okay, I'm getting it. Is it wait, have you not been over there with the, on the map? I ha- there's like something in the corner that I haven't seen it. yet. Yes. Okay, that's pretty much sure. No. 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 Yes. Um. That was the most harmful movie experience <laughs> yeah so we i don't know if we've talked about this on the stream so we went to because like our daughter didn't get like a really fun first birthday because of the pandemic we decided to take her to disneyland uh for her second birthday mm. and it was really fun um her first ride was gonna be winnie the pooh because yeah. at the end of it um there's the little happy birthday thing uh, but Winnie, Winnie the Pooh broke. And we were in line for it. We were in line for it, and Winnie the Pooh broke down um, because our well, son. Well, let's let's go back before that. What happened? Just what to, happened before we, that? We got that special pass. Yeah, we got a DAS pass, which is a disability accessible pass. Um, our son is autistic, and he can't wait in line for a very long period of time without having a meltdown. So we went to um, it, when you go to Disneyland and probably Disney World too, you can get um, a disability pass. That would allow you to set up um, wait times. Uh, I could down a little bit lower. First. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, set up like a wait time. So like you're essentially waiting. You just don't have to wait in the line. You wait and then go to the line basically. Yeah. And they put you in front. Um, and so we got one of those for Haunted Mansion because it was the holiday Haunted Mansion. And it's like, well, the yeah, the Nightmare Before Christmas. And so we're like, well, that's, you know, they've seen the movie and it's not terribly scary so that should be fine <laughs> and um then so we went to ha- uh, winnie the pooh and we were going to gauge like how well she did on winnie the pooh versus like if we went on other dark rides with her yeah. uh, and then winnie the P- we were in line for winnie the pooh and winnie the pooh broke yeah. down <laughs> and we're like well we already have the das pass and can go on haunted mansion so we might as well they've seen the movie it'll p- probably Hold, wait until it gets lower i know it'll probably be fine it was not fine <laughs> she uh, when jack comes out like as soon as the beginning happens where they do like the little um uh the glass breaks and they go la 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 she, she just okay. started crying like immediately like eh. and then as it continued she's like in my arms just kind of crying and then there's a part of the end of that opening sequence where jack comes down out of the ceiling and goes merry christmas everyone and she lost her mind screamed like <laughs> and buried her face in 
my neck like right here and I was like oh god I gotta bail like there's a bail point right after that front room where you could get out if your kid is scared Mm -hmm. and so we go out in the hallway and I'm gonna bail she was completely fine like as soon as we were (laughs) out of that front room the portrait hallway she was completely fine and I'm like and we look at each other we're like okay she's good she's good it was just the beginning we'll keep going and so we keep going walk through the hallway she's looking around she's fine she's fine We get to the dune buggies and I sit her on my lap in the dune buggy and the thing comes down by itself and it spins around and tilts us back and she is like screaming screaming again. And he could hear her in the next dune buggy over. He was in the dune. He was in the next dune buggy with our son. You hear us screaming the whole time. (laughs) And we're just, we're like, we're like those parents. And so like every other, I don't know if it was because that was her first dark ride experience or she just didn't like the dark rides in general, but every other dark ride after that, Winnie the Pooh, tears. And so we didn't go on any other dark rides the rest of the day. We did the outdoor rides, Dumbo, loved it. Casey Jr. loved it. Yep. Storyboats loved it. Kitty and outdoors. Yeah, she we had her. She like they went on something in Star Wars Land, and she ran around by the Falcon. Loved that. Yeah. Got to meet princesses in Fantasyland. Loved that. She was so happy. The next day, we're like, well, we'll try Little Mermaid. They love the Little Mermaid movie. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. We go on Little Mermaid. Tears. Screaming. It's like okay, she just doesn't like dark rides. Well, it could be like poor baby. It could be like a. It could be like a directional thing. Yeah, maybe. And she can't see where she's going. Yeah, maybe. And well, and next time we go, she'll probably be like loud, three. You know. So. And who knows? Yeah, next time we go, she'll probably be a little bit older. So maybe she'll be better. And like, to be fair, we started taking um, our son to Disneyland when he was two like, months old. we had passes at the time, and he was like, two, three months old. And we went a ton before he turned, before I got pregnant with my, my daughter. I think the last time I took him with our daughter. Yeah. Our daughter. The last time, I think the last time I took him, I was five months pregnant. So he was almost three, uh, which is when you have to start paying. And our son is so tall that like they were already asking me, how old is he? You had to meet Vampirina. (laughs) What? Yeah. He loved that. Like it was like it was like a Swifty meeting Taylor Swift for the first time. I know I need to wait till it goes down further. <laughs> uh, it was like I mean, a. Yeah, the trigger is. I mean, can you shoot it? If you shoot it, will it go down? Yeah. So if it shoot, if I wonder, hold on, I I have an idea, and if I could just execute it. Um, <laughs> so. Said everyone in life ever. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, you're not gonna give me some energy for that, you fucker. All right, um, yeah, but what were we talking about? Disneyland. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had an experience like that where I was like scared out of my ever living mind. On a, on a ride or just in general. In a movie or anything. Um, I think it scared you as a kid. Oh, well, Psycho scared me so bad. The movie Psycho, I saw it when I was 10. Yeah. Um, I was doing a... My parents are usually a lot more, like, strict about, like, stuff like that. But I was doing a science project about how heart rate... Your movies and TV affect your heart rate. And so they're like, let's watch a couple Hitchcock movies. Having never seen them. And uh, I didn't shower for a month after watching Psycho. It was smelly. I bathed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I took baths. I took baths for a month because I was too scared to shower after seeing Psycho. I love the conceit that a killer might not kill you because you're in the bath as opposed to the shower. Yeah, my mom kept so- saying that she should show me Freddy Krueger, and I didn't know what that meant until he showed me Nightmare on Elm Street, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's funny. Oh, she- she'd seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Holy shit. Yeah. My mom didn't restrict her own viewing, just mine. We should watch that with her for our Christmas. I don't know that she's going to want to watch that. So <laughs> fucking close, but I almost executed my plan. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. It's probably only going to be like missiles or something stupid at the end of this tunnel. Missiles but... are not stupid. Okay. Put that on a t-shirt for Game Kaboom. <laughs> missiles missiles are, are not stupid. stupid. <laughs> I already had an idea for a hoodie I want to make. Okay, what's that? 
it's what we we mentioned uh, it was Stephen Drew and I mentioned during uh, game night one time Drew said it I think what do you say your mom's an RPG <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that'd be a good hoodie. Oh, that's funny. And then I thought it'd be a really good like if we could like make like a really. I good, love like, that. A really your like, mom's an RPG. Extra extra comfortable hoodie that says that. Boom like, baby. It could be like the RPG hoodie, like what you grind in, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. She blames me for not listening. I was doing the thing. I'm doing stuff too, and I'm not listening to you. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. It's probably like a safe spot or something. I did. No, no, that's probably it. Like I'm saying. That. It would have an S if it was a safe spot. Oh uh, yeah, for save. Or for. Six. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't want to fall down. Fuck. Thank you. So. Oh! <laughs> You're back here. <laughs> Yeah, not an idiot. I'm not, thank you. That's something I want to look into, seriously. What? The hoodies? Well, like, what, what I was saying was, I want to create, and this this is inspired by your mom's an, RP, your mom's an RPG yeah. comment that Drew said. Um, I had an idea for, like, that was what, dumb. If we can make like a really like, extra comfortable hoodie, yeah. like good material, like soft yeah. or whatever, and we could we could sell it as like the ultimate gaming gamer hoodie. hoodie? What the fuck like, was what that? What you what you wear to grind it when you're playing RPGs? Right. Yeah. You know? I say your mom's an RPG. Right? Your mom's an RPG. <laughs> Ooh, almost. That was out for a discussion of uh, weekend at Bernie's and get around it with Nick's body. Oh God. <laughs> I regret saying that. that I was didn't. Funny as shit. I didn't think it through. Uh, this story's gonna be a real dark stream for a minute. Um, yeah. So my best friend passed away in March. Really sad. Heart failure. Thirty nine. Yeah, it yeah. was really, really. It's been rough this year. It was but, sad and unexpected. But when something really tragic like that happens in your life you get to that point where you can sort of make like dark comedy about it as a coping mechanism you know mm -hmm. it's what you do it's a, it's a human right. bullshit. it's what you do um so i forget what i said um so me and my friends steve and drew were all good friends with nick who passed away and so you know it was me and steve and drew and i went to the service and we've been talking and playing games and Remembering help, Nick. Helping each other out, basically. Yeah. Well, there was a point where we thought the funeral was going to possibly be in New York City, where his family, Nick's family is from. Um, and so we're, Ash and I were talking about it. Look at me. I screenshot that real quick. How do I... Don't do it. Actually, just, just carefully. Good. Not screenshot it. No, I can see that. Uh, oh, yeah, I can do that, too. So, um, there was a point oh, when... You? It's something. Wave oh, beam! hey! That can be used for um, making waves. <laughs> making in this world. waves. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Oh, you're so dumb. Oh, here comes the title. Okay. Here comes the, I mean the tide. <laughs> here comes the tide. <sighs> okay, stream. Anyway. Oh, wait. so, okay. So <laughs> after, so, um, a friend died in March and after, and then his funeral wasn't until June. Yeah. Because they were trying to they were trying to wait for um, the family and people and, and our friend Eric who was uh, in charge of the whole funeral service. Thank you, sir. By the yeah, way. and thank you, Eric. I'm eternally grateful to you, sir. Um, they're waiting until June just to sort of give people time to make plans to come to Savannah, wait. Georgia. What are you doing? I don't know. There we go. That's and then to um, okay, so I need to go up. That to come to Georgia where, they, where he up. lived at the time and have his funeral. Right. So there was months of planning and all that, and all that okay. stuff. 
So there's a point between when he died and the funeral where Ashley and I were talking about it, and we briefly thought it might be in New York City. So <laughs> Ashley was telling me about what what we could do in New York if we were there for a funeral, <laughs> and in Nick's honor. She, in in Nick's honor, and she kept saying that like, we can do this, we can do that in New York. And what she meant to say was me, Drew, and, and Steve. Steve. But I said. It, but you said me, me Drew, Drew, and, and Nick. Nick. And then they made like some weekend well, at Bernie's and, joke. Right, right. Well, and she, I felt she, really bad. She kept saying me. She kept saying uh, me, meaning you. She goes like, uh, she says, so, so you, uh, Nick and Steve can uh, go to New York, and you, Nick and Steve, can go to dinner, and you, Nick and Steve, blah, 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 blah this and that. And then I let her just keep saying it because it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny to and everybody. Then finally, when she was done, I said, at, at the end of it, I said, so what you're saying is that Steve and I are going to weaken Bernie's it with Nick's body around New York City. And, and I was like, what? And you were like, you know what I meant. Like, I felt really bad. I was <laughs> like, and they're just laughing at me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, I was, I'm, playing, I'm playing games on stream with uh, Drew and Steve. I almost did it too with yeah, Drew and Steve see? and not uh, so easy is it and we're all laughing our heads off and, uh, and I'm just like screw you and guys and I said you know what if if indeed there is an afterlife and Nick is somewhere and heard me say that he's laughing his ass off too yeah <laughs> they're all laughing at my expense so mean <laughs> it's not your expense this is funny yeah I, I did feel really bad I was like that's like a shitty like, well, how shitty is that to say to somebody? <laughs> Fuck, that's not what I wanted. It's already a quarter of midnight. Holy shit. I know. Just kind of getting getting things. Kind of getting our bearings back after last week. Yeah. Going off and stuff. <sighs> kind of hungry. <sighs> I'm not really. Okay. What do you want? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Alright. Yeah, just drink this one. Yeah. You can drink your drink. Oh, yeah, I do need a drink. There's my drink. I kind of nurse drinks. I don't drink stuff really fast. No kidding. Before we were parents, we'd go to bars with friends and such. I know, I've been nurse. I, I, I want to leave. It'd be time to leave it. I want to go home me. or whatever. And she'd be like, we'll leave as soon as I finish my beer. And it was like, two. Sip. Ten then, hours like, later. Yeah, and then like freaking an eternity later. Like another sip. It wasn't that bad. Ten hours later. Doesn't like waiting for it. I'll stop talking. <sighs> what? Don't say their name. Someone that you have to wait for a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> If this person is watching the stream, th stream though, they know that you're referencing them because you make jokes about this all the time, and she's gonna be mad. Now you narrowed it down. <laughs> what to male and female yeah. identifying? They know who they are, and they're gonna be mad at you. I don't mind waiting for this person. Just for the record, they have lots of friends. Me and I won't say their name either. <laughs> she. This I'm gonna stop. Yes, stop because our friend, <laughs> who we love very much, I do love her, gets very defensive about this, and you know that. She so does. You, she does not like that you make this joke. I never, I never heard this once from her. She does not like that you make this joke. I'm sorry. And I thought you knew that. I did not know that. No, she does not like it. She gets very defensive about it. Okay. And we love her very much, and he's going to stop now. Right. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Ah! I guess that worked. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> ah, dead. That was funny. That's 
what Sam does. She screams like she's, you know, <laughs> super hyper girl and screaming as far as a missile. <laughs> 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 I mean, I guess if you're Samus, that's not a terrible reaction as long as you fire the missile. Like, uh, Courtney Cox, uh, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm an idiot. Like, Wee! uh. Okay, where am I going? Like, um, Courtney Cox in that one. Movie. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh, um, uh, wait, no, I want to go up and over there, right? Oh, does it really matter? Probably not, right? That little patch of blue. Not, okay. I think. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything over Let's there. Let's make it down there to something. But, uh, well, that's where we were for Ridley, right? No, no, no. But the big blue bug, the, the big blue spot at the bottom is Ridley. But below that is like a little blue something like an elevator or something. It's that. That's well. We that can't is. get through to there. So let's go up to Brinstar, I guess. Okay. Right. That's like the only place we could go. Like, if these two little patches of blue don't matter. All the way to the right. Yeah, I'll go up a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I don't think these two little patches of blue matter. Okay. Right? We're agreed? I think so, yeah. Okay, so let's go... Say something here, it was now. <laughs> Before we were laughing at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes left. No, I appreciate our friend. Having the patience to do what she does, because I don't. Yeah. But she's one of those people that, that has, when she goes to these events, has friends all over the place. Mm hmm And she... Remembers all their names, tracks them all remembers down. Remembers all their names, wants to spend time and talking to them, which is great. Yeah. I'm more like, they're here, they're, across, they're way across the, the facility, screw it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, and not that Trevor doesn't love his friends, but no, Trevor's just, just like, like I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm like I don't want to spend like forty five minutes saying hi. Some people do, and that's but they're probably better for it. Yeah, probably. Like when I go to cons, it's like do you want to talk to people? No. No. <laughs> So if you ever want to come to cons, we are not going to do meet and greets, apparently. <laughs> I'll do con. I'll do that. Okay. I'm just teasing. I mean, that's, that, that has to be the biggest thing you guys do at Gallifrey, is talk <sighs> to each other, because there's nothing else to do. Right? There's things to do at Gallifrey? Well, it's not like a three... It's three days long. There's so little to actually do. Oh, my God. You hang out with friends, right? That's it's it's basically a three-day hang, yes. yes. But it's interspersed with con-like activities and drinking. Yeah, but like, lots of drinking. I mean, I mean this sincerely. If the con has to resort to karaoke, there's not enough to do. <laughs> Seriously, the karaoke at Galley though is pretty legit. But I'm saying that there's not enough con stuff. All right. Because that's what you have to resort to to keep people entertained, especially especially at night. I mean, it's also drinking. Yeah. I'm glad there's another restaurant there now, because fuck. Yeah, the steakhouse at the Marriott LAX was not, is not great. It's expensive and it sucks. I know. And our friend likes to eat there all the time. That other place is good. Yeah, I like the new sports bar that's in there. It's really good. The sports bar? Yeah, Hainer 88, I think is what it's called. Oh, it's really good. Bar. I think that's what it's supposed to be. And yeah, it's really good. I like it. Hey, Strategic Hunts across the street. What up? <laughs> yeah. I'm hosting the Scott Pilgrim game next time it happens. If y'all want to come, I'll put it on Twitter. 
I will Scott Pilgrim it up for y'all for a few hours. You all can choose uh, which evil axe to fight. Where am I? Okay, so I have to go. Keep going to the left. Right? How do I get up there? Oh, like this. Yeah. Go up. Which way is north? Up. So, north is always up on the map, so we go up. <laughs> okay. The sun sets in the east, right? No. The sun sets in the west. As if you're in the east, we're past where the sun sets now. What is this from? <laughs> it's the City Slickers. Oh, I've never seen City Slickers. It's John John Lovitz's uh, Billy Crystal's like idiot brother. He has been along with him. Like, he's like, looks at the map and he goes, "Okay, the sun sets in the east, right? No, the sun sets in the west. As if you're in the east, and we're way out west now, so we're past where the sun sets." Okay. We can't be past the sunsets. Uh, we haven't been to Madaria yet. So where where were the little head is? Right? I don't know. Little head. Where were where were the little Samus head is? Right? Where the meat 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 is. Oh, okay. Meat, meat, and we haven't done any of the blue where's stuff. Where's the Samus head? What are you talking about? What's that in the little left? The little red with the yellow thing in the middle. I think that's like a three feller station thing. Oh, okay. So we haven't done any of the blue stuff over here. Yeah. So we did well, all. criteria. Hey. Is that where we have to go next? Eventually, yeah. Okay, so let's do some of this blue shit. It's midnight now. Okay, well, let's. Okay, so I need to well, go. Well, I want to stop. It doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah. Well, just for a little bit longer. We'll go this way. I know. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go. What? You know what I really want What? Right Some cranberries. <laughs> oh, gosh. You didn't get any leftovers this time. We didn't get very many leftovers. No, we didn't. My, my mom, who did a lot, of, a lot of the cooking, she's gotten this thing in recent years where she hates having leftovers suddenly. Mm -hmm. So, she's, she makes enough food oh, for yeah, dinner. Oh, yeah, charging thing. But you don't get cool. enough for, like, you can screenshot this. Yes. Um, so we had enough, we had more than enough for dinner, we didn't have any leftovers, so. Yeah, we got, like, a little bit of pie, and I, I got the leftovers of my French toast that It'll I made for brunch. Way. We do have the pecan pie, yes, that we, that you bought. Your way up. I know, I'm trying to. I figured it out. So 
super bomb. I know. Oh, that's what you couldn't do before. Got it. I, I want to go get that one. I know. I, I missed, missed it. it. I missed it. I messed up. What the fuck? <laughs> That's why you couldn't do it before because you didn't super bombs. Mm-hmm. Why don't I kill the Oh you're right. Fuck me. Me and me. Get off the stream first. Uh -huh. That's why I live stream that. What are you doing? I don't know, I'm trying not to kill these things. Maybe they are. What? Oh, they got your way across. Yeah, I know. Probably kill like first, but it doesn't matter. Ah! You screenshot it right here. Yeah, good call. And kill the other things first. And kill them? Yeah, yeah fuck, your, fuck your shit up. Okay. Have we not been across there before? No, it says no. Right. I feel like I did something similar to this, but maybe not. See, it says it's blue. Shit. You didn't energy it. Yeah. Alright, too much. Mm. Get back up. Good job. Thank you. I'm getting better at this. I don't know if it'd be easier with this controller or if it was an old controller. Mm -hmm. It was not easy then. But as I recall. Mm -hmm. First I'm right by but the xenomorph. Oh fuck! I wasn't expecting it to still catch me. Oh fuck! Get up. Okay. Let's shut at some point in here. Yeah, back when we had to do this in the, in the day, didn't have all that. Yeah, I know. If you died, you went back to where you started. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. 
fuck, fuck. Oh. Oh no, you want that to happen. I think. <laughs> fuck. No, wrong one. Oh, that's what you gotta do. What? Get on it and then bomb it. Mm. Like, like lower it? No, 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 get out, out, no. Lower it. Okay. Now, yeah. Can you see a regular bomb? Would that work? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cool. What is this? X ray! Let's go. Oh. What's that mean? I, hold I don't it. remember, actually. B button. Let's. Select it and then hit the B button. Okay. I don't remember what this does, actually. Oh, so you can see your way through if there's like a hidden passageway or something. Hmm. That's cool. Oh. Hmm. Well, you gotta bomb your way up into the air and get over. Thing. Down behind you and stuff. Yeah, we can morph ball out. There you go. That's how you do it. Okay. Cool. Sweetness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's my don't do that sound. <laughs> well, that's why I do too. <laughs> wow. Alright, so. Be farming down below my shrimp. Uh, well, we can go check, I guess, since we already got this thing. You need to just reload this safe one, doesn't matter. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Is there anything in the safe below? Nope, 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 nope. It's <laughs> be a pain in the ass getting out. I know. Whenever like one of the three stooges saw like a ghost behind them or something, mm -hmm. they're trying to tell the other ones. Or no, it was Alvin Costello actually. Mm. No. Oh, here's a thought. Mm. So, um, the Mario movie comes out next year. Yeah. It's confirmed that Donkey Kong is in it. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So, I wonder if, like, other Nintendo characters will have, like, little cameos of some kind. Yeah, somehow. they're going to try to start a Mario cinematic universe. Like, if Samus showed up for, like, a scene, who would you want to voice her? Brie Larson. Yeah, fair enough. Well, but it'd have to be kind of comedy-ish, I guess. So, like... Sofia Vergara. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Mario, listen. I don't want to do that accent. No, actually. please don't do that again. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have even said it, but I thought I thought it was funny. The only person who does a great impression of her, no, no joke, is Ed O'Neill. Oh, and Julie Bowen. Julie Bowen's impression of her is Does really she? good. Yeah. You hear what Ed O'Neill sa says in her voice, though? What? And apparently, she actually said, apparently she actually said this. Um, she was asked, they were at, they were at some like, convention or something, mm -hmm. like, some fan meet and greet, and some woman asked her, like, how do you, like, keep and maintain your figure, basically? Because, mm -hmm. like, she's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I've seen this Ellen interview. It's funny. Yeah, and she goes, she says something to the effect of, like, it's genetic, you know, like, my mother looked like this. My grandmother looked like this. My grandfather looked like this. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Stop touching me. Oh, shit. I never finished that show. I wonder what is, how it ended. Modern Family? Yeah. I'm not sure either. I never finished it. I like that show. It was funny. It was a funny show. I heard it kind of didn't get... I heard they got not great towards the end, but... I mean, I don't think it got as not great as other shows get not great, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, oh, I don't really want to watch this anymore, because this sucks. I think it was still funny, but it's like, oh, it's not as good as it was in its heyday. One of my favorite... If that makes sense. One of my favorite things that were in that show was that episode where, um... Oh, fuck. What was the little girl's name? Lily. Their daughter, the... The um, gay couple's daughter, yeah. yes. Um... For some reason, she's like really, like really snarky, like really mm -hmm. like sassy language. Yeah. And they don't know where she's getting it from, and it and turns it's out that Claire. she's getting it from Claire, and, they, she, and she's like, like she keeps, she's waiting for her dad to get ready, mm -hmm. and she's saying like, the "Today, ladies," <laughs> and, and, and they're just like, <gasps> and they're like, "Lily, I don't, I really don't like this attitude of yours," and she goes, "I'm sorry, should I call you a wambulance?" Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that show. Well, she should do the wow, wow thing until later. Like when Claire says it again in front of her. And she goes, wow, 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 wow. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> that show is so great. Ah. Oh. There's one time where she, uh, it was like a fake behind the scenes thing. Yeah. And they were talking about what a terror Lily is to work with, or what mm -hmm. the actress's name was. Oh, yeah, the Audrey. And she goes, like, she tells uh, Eric on uh, Eric's down the street. Who's mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Jesse Tyler Ferguson. She tells him, she was like, I'm having cake at my wedding. What are you having? Uh, <laughs> it's like gay marriage wasn't legal yet. Legal yet? yet? Yeah, super funny. <laughs> How old is that kid now? Jesus Christ. She's probably like 18. Yeah. Probably at least like six, 15, 16, 18. Okay. I'm a pure moral curiosity. Oh, yeah. New Sex in the City reboot. Yeah. Uh, why? Because I thought they. I thought none of them got a lawn anymore. That's like the rumor. Is that like. Family. 250 episodes. Wow. That's a lot. How many seasons was this? 11. Mm hmm. I never watched the pilot. I didn't watch a lot of the early seasons either. The pilot was what got me into it, because, like, my mom is pretty... My mom and dad are pretty much Claire and Phil, to, like, a <laughs> yeah. certain extent. And, like, I was, I watched that show. I'm like, Mom, you have to watch this show. She's like, why? I'm like, you're in it. And she's like... And she watches it. She's like, I better be the blonde. I'm like, of course you're the blonde. Who the fuck else would you be? And... 2007. She's it 12, got to she's the... Like 14 now. Oh, wow, I thought she was older. Um, it got to the point um, where, like, my dad was, like, relating to Phil. Like, he would use stuff <laughs> that happened. Be, he would use stuff that would happen on the show to, like, justify him His himself. Actions. Yes. Oh, she's going up. Holy shit. Ugh, crap. That's her now. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, it, um... Like he would he would say stuff and be like, Well, you remember that one episode where Phil did this thing? And my mom would be like, Don't she's not acting anymore. Oh, yeah, I find that happens with children actors is like they do their thing and then they're like, Okay, I wanna I wanna move on and like do something else. I hope she made a chunk of change in that show. Oh probably. Put in, like, life savings and yeah, like they like a lot of these I mean, I don't know if it's the case with her, but a lot of those kids will like 
what am I doing? Uh, she'll, um, she, I mean, she probably used it to pay for college and like set herself, up, so. set herself up for life, you know? She was on that show. I think th- I think they had her come on like season three or four when they aged up the baby, the twin babies. Like one and of she suddenly aged up like a lot like, between. The it wasn't a ton, but I mean, yeah, she went from a baby to like a little like toddler thing. Probably Eric down the street. Hmm. He's not actually gay, but a lot of people assume he is. Is <laughs> he's on that show? It wasn't. I mean, who cares? I know. Um, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, um, as obvious, her aging up, I don't think was as obvious as one of, like, the little boy, not Manny, the, the little brother, the, the baby that Sophia and Ed had. Oh, yeah. Uh, they aged that kid up. A lot. A lot, yeah. And it was because, I guess, I guess Julie Bowen talked about it in an interview on Ellen. I guess they were played by twins and one was a boy and one was a girl. Mm. And it got really obvious, like, which one was which. Oh, okay. I love that joke that he makes in the freaking parenting class. Yeah. <laughs> they get handed a, they get handed, they're getting, they're being handed plastic baby dolls to yeah. practice with, and uh, they they get they, they randomly get handed a an African American baby doll, and, uh-huh. and then it turns to Sophia Vergara and says, "Is it explaining the deal?" And she laughs, <laughs> and like all the people in the class don't appreciate it. They're just like, dude. <laughs> That King of the Hill joke. I don't remember. Um, did you know about, about Bobby Hill's fr- fr- best friend, the other kid? No. Um, this mm. is complicated. It's not explained early on. Okay. But there's a, um, so there's a Crap. Dale, who's the other, who's a Hank Hill's fr- neighbor and friend, another white guy. I wonder if um, I like drop one of these, if it will just like blow everything up for me. So, Dale is with their, their neighbor. Or they're like, they're like one, one of uh, Hank's friends. Nope. Oh, it was worth a try. Dale's son uh-huh. is obviously some, at least partially Native American. Mm-hmm. And wait, um, the and he and his wife have a Native American like friend who's like their gardener. Okay. <laughs> so the All joke is that like. Way. So the joke is that the son is clearly the gardener's biological son, but Dale doesn't know it. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I never watched that show much, but people love it. King of the Hill? Yeah. I never watched it either. I I didn't think it was that great uh, as a whole, but people loved it. Yeah. I knew people who did the the greatest thing ever, but... Not my favorite thing that Mike Judge ever did. I haven't watched a ton of Mike Judge. I really liked uh, Silicon Valley, the first season. It's so funny. That the, dick, the joke. dick joke. That <laughs> dick joke. And like this. No, 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 no. Like, like, like the mathematical equation of like jerking, jerking off, off people. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That is like the funniest thing. But if they're like touching penis to penis, you can do like four at once. It's just like that, that <laughs> dick. Oh my God. Like, and I'm not like the biggest dick joke person on the planet, but, but that, that is like but masterful. It's, but it's but it's smart and it's funny. Like and all all the guy says, all T.J. Miller says is like, if I had to personally jerk off everyone in that room, we're gonna we're gonna win this or whatever. And they start breaking down the math of it all. The math. Yeah, the like how like, how you would like mathematically jerk all these guys off. <laughs> Super funny. Is that show over now. Yeah. Yeah, Cam- Camille Nanjiani is like a Marvel superhero now. That did not get great reviews, apparently. Uh, most people I've heard talk to love it. Hmm. It's the only rotten score in the MCU. I think that's just haters gonna hate. 
That means that means the critics rotten. Oh, critics it's rotten. Like, it's like 58%. Oh, okay. So. I don't know. I wonder if it's just like backlash against her for like she won an Oscar and now she's doing a Marvel movie. Who? Chloe Zhao. Why would be a backlash? I don't know. Elitist bullshit. What did she win for? No Man Land. Um, is it the best picture winner? Uh, I don't remember. Speaking of awesome sci-fi movies, one of my favorite, I, I saw part of my, one of my favorite movies in the past 10 years. Today. Get up there. Okay. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Shit. Shit. Ah! This is so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. uh, Arrival is awesome. Yeah, I like Arrival a lot. I don't know why I jumped off of there without getting the grapple. <sighs> I was blown away by that movie. I love it. Mm -hmm. First time I saw it, we both wanted to kill your younger brother. <laughs> yeah. Because he was being a dumbass. Well, this was several years ago now. 2016 when it came out. Yeah, so he was 16. Yeah. He is... A dumb shit. He was a dumb shit. In He's, that moment. In that moment, yes. Very much so. He, um... Something... Some kind of basketball was on, probably, like, in NCAA yeah. or something like that, and they were watching it, and my mom had heard this movie was good and wanted to take us all to see a movie. Um, we're there for Thanksgiving. And we're there for Thanksgiving when this is going on. And... Uh, they, she takes us to a really nice theater with, like, reclining seats and, like, l like leather. Like, it's probably, like, 25, 30 bucks a ticket. Yeah, she paid for the whole family. Paid like for, like, people. so I have five younger siblings. She paid for all of us. She paid for Trevor. She paid for my, I think my sister's girlfriend came. Um. Oh, yeah, huh. Uh, <laughs> or her ex-girlfriend now, I guess. Um, and then, um, uh, and then... Uh, my brother decides he's going to watch NCAA basketball underneath his hoodie throughout the entire movie. In the theater. In the theater during this movie because he's bored and he doesn't like it. And it's not his kind of movie. Stay, stay home. Yeah, stay that's... Home. So, and I find out about this after the movie and I go, what is the matter with you? Like, couldn't people around you see it? No, nobody saw it. Yes, they did. They totally saw it. Like, you're not subtle. You're 16 and you're a moron. You, like, the people around you, you are probably bothering the hell out of them. And, um, uh, and I'm like, and I'm like, it's disrespectful to the people who made the movie. It's mm -hmm. disrespectful to the people around you in the movie theater trying to enjoy the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's disrespectful to our mother who paid a lot of a money. ton of freaking money to take the entire family. You could have stayed home. Yeah, just stay home and watch the fucking basketball game if you don't want to go. Like, seriously. I was, oh, I was so mad. And I, like, laid into him. And usually when I lay into my siblings about shit like that, my mom, like, stops me. She did not. She mm. let me, she let me let him have it. <laughs> I think when I said that he was disrespecting her, I think she liked that. Because <laughs> he was. Yeah, it's like. It's like, stay the fuck home if you don't want to. If you don't want to watch the fucking whatever this is, like, don't watch the whatever it is. Remember that one time he, uh, oh God, there was another what? time, I, th I think he was younger, younger. There, there was that time that he was, uh, he had some movie he wanted us to watch. I can't remember what it was. Some dumb comedy. Oh, or something. probably like Hot Rod or something. Well, he had like a crappy pirated DVD copy of it somehow. Yeah. And he was like. Oh no, it was the other guys. Oh, okay. And he and like all, all the whole time where they say, like, "Let's watch this movie. It's so funny. Let's watch it." Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Like, okay, let's watch it. So, fi so, so like, finally, gave him to shut up. We all watched it. Tried well, tried to watch it one night. And yeah. He again. He has like some weird like burned pirated DVD of it from some friend or something probably. Mm -hmm. And it didn't play correctly in the, the player. <laughs> Yeah, no, it because kept, it kept like skipping or stopping or like it, it just was it was, it was just poorly burned it copy, was janky and whatever. But and like they had to, like the whole family sitting down to watch this movie, and he keeps like 
like trying to stop it and trying to like restart it like it, it fucks up again so he has to stop it and restart it like I finally, I finally just gave up and just said alright I'm done like you guys yeah we walked away we were like no fuck get let go of me oh I was almost there I was doing it and that thing like so, reached up and grabbed me I didn't want to watch it that much in the first place anyway, seriously like, fuck it. yeah I don't think Wolfell is funny this is my opinion bold take I like him in some things it depends on the thing I like him in Elf a lot. I yeah, like him in Zoolander. I know I've seen that movie. <laughs> you've said this before. I don't know if you've seen it on the stream. Said it on the stream. He has watched Zoolander at least three times. Three times that I know about, and he and just does not retain it. And, and, and he can't which, literally can't tell you much about the movie, which is weird for me because like when I watch something like once, and then if I see something like two times, <laughs> I've memorized it. Pretty much. That's how I've always been. For some reason, with Zoolander, which I never saw when it was new, um, I only saw it when she made me watch it. Um, to be fair, my siblings are saying it is the only thing we can all agree on. Yeah, so, yeah whenever we're at family's house, they, they, that's all they can... It's one of the only movies we all agree on. Yeah. So... And I don't mind watching it. I have nothing against watching it. I just, like, they put it on... And I'll watch the whole thing, and I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't think. And then you ask him about the movie like the next day, and he's like, "What?" And, yeah, and I, have, I don't. I, it slides off my brain immediately. When it's yeah, over. I think it's like his brain has like a defense mechanism where he just cannot retain this movie. I know it's about models or something. Male models, yes. I love Zoolander. I think but it's so funny. But if you tell so me funny. the plot, I have no idea. I guess like, what's it it's about? It's so I funny. Know. Like I tell him about the cameos in it, he doesn't remember. It's. It's really funny. Ben Stiller's kind of like Will Ferrell for me too. Like he's funny in some things. And yeah. Like other things, I'm just like, meh. Shit. Just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I get real tired of his award show shtick. Yeah. And, like every award show that he and Owen Wilson are together, they stage some like. Obviously, obviously. Do they fake, still do that? I think so. Yeah, I don't think it's that funny either. Or whenever he's presenting an award or something, and you're just like, he's a, you know, he's like getting a costume or something, and it's like, I'm done, dude. I just don't want to hear you do your thing. No! Yeah. I'm so. going to figure this out. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Credits. <laughs> Yeah. Time to get a watch. I have a watch, thank you. I'm not wearing it at the moment. Aww. Show up. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> James Cameron <laughs> <laughs> Credits. <laughs> Nora Ephron film. <laughs> oh god. Oh my Name god. Name one Nora Ephron film that wasn't uh in Seattle. <laughs> Are you that male? It's complicated. Did she do that? I don't know. IMDB to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, I was guessing, just based on the type of movie. I thought she did. Sounds kind of right, but let's be sure. It's... Not yet. <laughs> oh, she didn't do that one. Oh, uh, she did not do it, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Nancy Myers did. Oh, that's who I'm thinking of. Who? What is Nora? Okay, so what is Nora Ephron done? Actually, if you go to uh, It's Complicated and go to um, the More Like This section, uh, Julie and Julia, which is a Nora Ephron film. I love that movie. That movie is so good. It's so good. It has my lady in it. It does have your lady in it. Oh my, she's dreamy. I know. I know you like her. And that is okay. I am approved of that. She likes the fire. <laughs> okay, let's not get carried away. 
<laughs> her top four kind of sucks. What are her top four? It doesn't, it doesn't completely suck. Do it's a guess? rival. Do you want to guess? Okay, so this is a game that Doug Benson plays yeah, on his... Game. He plays this... Doug Benson, who's a stoner comedian who loves movies, hey, no. plays uh, uh, this game on his podcast. It's called the IMDb Game, and I love it. Um, and you pick... like it's Every actor pretty much has a top four, and you have to guess. So for Amy Adams, yeah. I'm going to guess Arrival. I'm going to guess American Hustle, because for some reason, everybody has that who's in that has that in their top four. Um... Uh, I'm going to say Doubt and um, The Muppets. Fuck, you were so close to all four. What was the fourth one? Uh, okay, hold on. It's okay. So you got Arrival, okay. American Hustle, uh -huh. Doubt, okay. and... Julia Julia. No. Big Eyes. Her most famous movie, pretty much. Enchanted? Yeah. Oh, Okay. I love that movie too. That movie's really good. No seen Doubt. Doubt is Or American Hustle for that matter. American Hustle I do not like. I think it's a mess of a movie with very good performances. Um and I don't I don't really like David O. Russell. Like I like the fighter and that's about it. Like I didn't like Three Kings. I didn't like He's an asshole. Yeah, no. Um, that's like the only one of his movies I like is The Fighter. Um, no, American Hustle, like I said, it's a mess of a movie. Um, but, but very good performances. Um, and she's good in it. Um, what's the, what was the other one we said? Doubt. Doubt. Doubt is a very hard movie to watch, but again, very good performances. Like every his last movie? Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh, no, I think the mas. I think that I think the master was one of his last ones. What year was this? Um, oh, two thousand eight. Wow, that's all I thought. Yeah, no, the doubt. Doubt. Everyone is good in that. Um, Meryl Streep's good. Viola Davis is good. Amy Adams is good. I think everybody was nominated for Oscars for that. Like it was just a ton. It was a really difficult movie. Good script, good performances, not oh. very well directed, I thought. Hunger Games 2 was his last movie. Oh, that's sad. Like, you're better than that, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, because he died, he died, like, he played a character that I think would have been in the last two. Like, it's hard, I don't, I like, I haven't retained those books very well, because they're not great. Oh, the first and second book are great. The third is terrible, so I don't. It's not in it at all. I don't retain that series very well, but um, I think his character should have been around for the third movie, which is really the third book, which is the third and fourth movie. God, that's so stupid. Um, that was stupid. Um, and they just had to write him out because Philip Seymour Hoffman died. Couldn't cast him. No, no, I don't think they did. I think they had a little footage of him to use or something like that. Yeah. Hey, trivia. Yeah. Amy Adams is often mistaken for Isla Fisher. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, like her and Isla Fisher, like, and Jessica Chastain, like, they have red hair. That's it. They don't look like each other. To be fair, when we all saw the first It movie... They said, who could play adult Beverly? Like, it's either going to be just, it's, it's, it's either Jessica Chastain or, or Amy Adams. Adams. I know. And it was Jessica Chastain. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that actress who played young Beverly it has was, played young Amy Adams and other things. And I think she that said that she wanted show. Jessica, I think she wanted Jessica Chastain to play her. Yeah, they, they asked uh, the young cast who they wanted to play their adult versions, and they, some of them got their way. Um, Freaking Fid Wolfhard said Bill Hader. He got it. Yeah. Apparently he's really good in the movie too. The hitter? Yeah. He is. The cast is good. Did I just seriously turn to face the spike and get myself? That's lame. This is really sad actually. What? I'm looking at Amy Adams' filmography. Mm-hmm. And like there's this weird period where it's like a couple of really good like Oscar worthy movies. Mm-hmm. That members of Superman. Oh, God. Arrival. 
I get the couple, impulse. A, a couple, I get her one. impulse to do that movie though. Arrival. A couple other like good performances, good Oscar movies. Justice League. Oh, God. I mean, and it's not her fault. Like she's not bad no. in those movies. But it's just those are bad movies. Right. Except when she's forced to say it's his mother's, mother's name. name. Oh my God. That fucking movie. We knew it was coming. That part. And yeah, it, we'd it, heard happened, all like, about this, oh. and we were just like, oh my god, it's worse than we thought. It was really bad. Well, it, it's bad, first of all. It's like, he's like, because for some way, for some nonsensical reason, Superman's going, save Martha. Sa- instead of save my mother. Yeah. Like, he doesn't call his mother Martha. Which would have made more sense. Save my mom. And that would have freaked Batman out as equally as Bruce Wayne, you know. Like, save, save my mother. <gasps> Oh, you have a mother? I love my mommy. Why did you say that name? Oh my god. It's like, it's like, oh wait, no one's ever noticed before that Batman and Superman's mother has the same name. It was I mean, like the I 50s, everybody was named I Martha. I didn't really realize it either. I didn't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's dumb. It's dumb because everybody in the 50s was named Martha. I'm sorry. Every, everyone in the 50s. No, you know, what I, you know what I mean. Stop. What the fuck? <laughs> My yeah. <laughs> and then to make it even stupider, she comes running and goes like, It's his mother's, mother's name. name. Oh my god, it's so stupid. How did you get me? Everyone at Warner Brothers is like, Yep. Good job, writer. Good job. Good job, David Goyer. I think he wrote that, right? Yeah. He also wrote like The Dark Knight, so why is like fucking No, hold on. He co wrote The Dark Knight. Let's okay. be clear about that. All right. With the auteur who directed it. True. <laughs> yeah, the boy has written some good movies. Don't watch. Don't watch anything he's ever directed. What did he direct? Nothing good. Okay. Literally. Oh! I'm getting close. I, can I can't remember. It. I can't remember what it's called, but he directed some crappy horror movie. Oh god. And the only thing that's memorable about it at all, it has a boring title too. I can't remember what it was. Oh no. But the only thing that's memorable about it at all is that on the poster there, it's a scary movie poster, but like it has this girl looking in the mirror at herself and it's scary for some reason mm-hmm. and she has a really cute butt that's on display and that's it <sighs> that's the most memorable thing about the whole movie I don't like that what? like taking care like like full on like exploitation like that but they, I mean people call it the cute button movie that's all that's all that's all that's, that's all, shitty it is about it and I, not to objectify anyone no I know you're not trying to objectify but that's what it's known like, for Right, but I guess that's kind of my point, is that, like, like he, like, relied on that to, like, sell tickets he didn't. I mean, to, marketing or marketing, things. but, like, whatever, like, you know what I mean, like, that's shitty. Yeah, that oh, shit. Don't get low on them. I'm trying, I, like, I was trying to swing past him, and I just... Should I not talk? No, it's... I mean, like, the stream is going to be boring if you don't talk. This part's going to be hard, though, so... <sighs> Let's get past this and get that. So Maybe, yeah. It's 12.30. I know. Uh, sexy. Shit, see, I didn't want to land right over him. See, I keep landing right on top of them. Oh, oh fuck. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. (sighs) 
Shit. Fuck. Thing's gonna kill me. See, I'm right on top of him now. Just, just check your way over. Nope. Oh shit! All right. Ugh, see, it's hard. I got this. <sighs> okay. One thing I'm kind of curious about. Hmm. You have to do if you don't want to. What? I wonder if you die and just let the game do a game over and continue traditionally with a, from the game over screen. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'll put you somewhere with all your stuff that's better. Does it do I, that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You can just try it and see if it does it. Okay. It's up to you. Next time I die, I'll try it. Yeah. Lag. Fucking The original lag. game does that, but I don't know if this one does or not. Get up there. Oh, all right. Oh, stupid thing. Uh, just gonna continue and see what it see. I like, see where it puts me. Okay. okay I mean, it gives me a safe spot. Do, well, just go there. Try that. See if you have all your stuff at the ground. I no. Oh, you don't. Okay, never mind. Okay. Just curious. Yeah, see, so yeah, that's all my stuff. That's shitty. That it didn't give me any of that stuff. Save in the game since you got stuff. So. Yeah. I mean, there isn't really a save spot back no, here. No, no, I know. It's the issue. God, that must mean this game is so much harder. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, you little piece of oh, shit. Oh well. Well, that kind of might have worked for me. If, if I could get away from this thing. Nope. <laughs> Did for a second. Well, yeah, then, then I grabbed on, like, right above his head. It's like, that's not going to do me any good. I can't swing anywhere like that. Maybe I should, I mean, even dropping on the spikes would have, like, depleted that in an instant. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Worse. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm right above him again. Ugh. It's just these fucking xenomorphs. Well, I mean, they're just a tight spot with like no energy, basically. I know. Oh, fucker.
Seriously. What? Yeah, I want cheese poops. Trader Joe's product. I'm doing mm. some nice baked cheese crunchies. Mm. They're not Cheetos, but they are. Yes. Do you like hot Cheetos? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Everyone likes. I think they're nasty. Really? I do not like. I don't like the hot ones. I love like. That kind of thing, like the spicy. I love the spicy flaming hot Cheetos. I love like Takis, hot Taki. I love the baked ones. I like baked stuff too, but like the hot, like the like hot chips. I love that. So good. Flaming hot Cheetos, hot Takis. I love this stuff. Hmm. <coughs> Oh my god. Oh, I was doing really well for a second there. Where is he? Huh? I'm just waiting for them to fly this way. I don't know what they do. Oh, okay. Nope, they're there. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, I'm just using. It gives me a fucking missile. Why wouldn't it give me something good? Here we go. Okay. Did we spawn? Yeah. Fill up. Fill up. Wait there uh, and fill up. Oh, okay. Mm. Maybe he'll leave the room and come back when we spawn down. Mmm, good call. We're dumbasses. Yep. This would take me forever to fill up. What? This would take me forever to fill up this way. Well, but. The better chance of your energy is higher. That's true. Use your non grapple beam. Mmm, good call. There we go. It's been that long. Maybe we'll come back to you. Mm-hmm. Smart. Yeah. Since we're gonna be here a while. What? Since we're gonna be here a while. We I mean, get like at least like a couple of energy tanks or whatever. Right? Mm-hmm. Well. Mirror. Oh, 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 it's all the way over there. Yeah. Dumb. Okay. Mm. 
Ted is on 44 energy forever. Oh, I don't know, right? We're pooping. There we go. <laughs> You know what? Hmm? Screen trying to be now and then so you don't fall off the edge and lose all his progress. Good call. I was like, like at least halfway. Okay. That's a good call. Come here, you little fuckers. But even if you get caught by one of those things, you can just have a shot and get them back up. Yeah. <coughs> uh, give me more than that. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, hold on. I think they're gonna come this way. Do I want some beer right now? Huh? Do I want a beer? Well, I concentrate first before I okay, get before out I... of here. Okay, before I... Alright. I'll say just get out of here and then... Yeah, probably. It's 1 a.m. I know, I have to go to the office tomorrow. Just clean up in here still. I know. Come here, you fucker. Here. I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't buy no. hard. <laughs> I blast you with my little blaster. Okay, you know what? You ah. never answered the question who should play it by uh, voice Samus in like the cameo in the Mario movie. Mm. I think we last one should get like the live action movie. Yeah, for sure. Um, but it has to be like funny, like lady. I was trying to think of like funny lady with a sex rate, sexy voice. But Jane Jacobs. Yeah. Jane Jacobs. Ooh, Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> That'd be really funny. It has to be like a distinctive voice, and Tiffany Haddish has a very distinctive voice, or um, like Kate McKinnon. That'd be funny as shit. Yeah, she's great. Or like Cecily Strong, like one of the ladies on SNL who are just super funny. Does have Andy Bryant to it? Yeah, like for <laughs> sure. That would be great. Uh, what's her fucking... And Melissa McCarthy would be funny too. Yeah. Like one of them. Like good voice, distinguishable voice, super funny. It's kind of like how um, Henry Calvin... Oh wait, hold on. What? One, oh, it's a bot. Hi, bot. Oh, hi, bot. What do you say? Want to become famous? Buy followers and viewers on bigfollows.com. No, thank you. We, I mean, I don't really want to be famous, but no. I would love to do this for a job. Yeah, I cool. think you have to be like internet famous to do this for a job, or at least like Twitch famous. Well, I mean, you know, just. I don't want to be like Tom Cruise famous. I don't know why that was. He's the person. not Twitch famous. No, I know. Like, I'm saying, like, I don't want to be like a celebrity. I don't want to be like a Kardashian. Or like a Jonas brother or something like that. I want to be like, if I can like be that, well, Mark Rober or like what my what that girl I follow Amber does, where like she does like the YouTube videos and you know and enjoys that and has like a little bit of a following. Like Gator Mom, like she's another diaper bag lady. Let me put it this way: if I could be as wealthy as the Kardashians by just doing game streaming and vlogging and stuff, I mean I don't think you can. I know, but if I could, sure. I don't want to be a Kardashian. I don't want to be Kate Jenner. Huh? I don't want to be Kate Jenner. Like a momager. Kate Jenner? Who the hell is that? Not Kate Jenner. What's her? Chris Jenner. Like, momager. I don't want to do that to my kids. Made of leather. Yeah. That's what she looks like. I know. Why did I do that? Okay. 
Um, no, I, like, I feel like she, like, and I don't want to, like, get into the Kardashian crap. Like, I just, I don't like it. I think she's, like, exploited her children. She has exploited her children. And her, like, her daughter had a sex tape, and she, like, exploited that to create, like, an empire. What? Who <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Okay. I don't know much about them besides they're just awful people. No. I, I don't know if I mentioned this on the show before, on the stream before, but um Really quick, so my understanding of their story is that her ex husband was a lawyer who represented OJ and they were divorced or like separated when she they did it. Yeah. And so she was just like a socialite. Like she was part of like the Beverly Hills, like rich people and like probably had aspirations for greater things and then after she had remarried to who's the person who's now Caitlyn Jenner um she uh her daughter Kim who was like a older teenager like early 20s like she wasn't that old had a sex tape with I think Ray J or somebody like that um it like that's how the Kardashians got like big and got like the for like the first like reality show so she basically like took the fact that her daughter's sex tape went public and her daughter was hot and made it and people are obsessed with her and made it into like this hot empire and it, i mean yeah she yeah like i guess if that's what your goal good on you but if my daughter had a sex tape and it went public i'd be like are you okay be like, like, can we get you into th business opportunity yeah no like i i would be like can we get you like into therapy like are you all right like what's you know like i don't know that that, that whole part of it's just kind of weird to me and maybe i'm just misunderstanding their backstory because i'm not like i don't know that their family but that's like my perception of it so yeah I hope that my daughter will be smart enough to understand that if someone she's with wants to make a sex tape with her, that that camera ends up uh, up his ass. <laughs> or down his the throat. Part the other person does. Not my daughter. It might, it, you know what I mean. Yeah, like she... Oh, fuck. Why'd I do that? Um, like, no. Uh, here's your new anal cavity. Yeah, here. I'll sh I'll you know, show you where you can shove that camera. I mean, I could see her doing that. She's a sassy little thing. I asked her, she uh, she likes to throw stuff on the floor, because she's two, and um, she threw Trevor's switch cover on the floor today, and I saw it on the floor, and I go, Jack, will you pick that up uh, and give it to Daddy? And she looks at me and goes, no! And I'm like, okay, Jesus. We want to encourage her strength in saying no when it's appropriate. Yeah, but she should have picked that shit up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you need to pick that shit up now when I tell you to. <laughs> I'm not a violent person. No, especially I, not with I, your children. No, no, of course not. But, I'll, but I, 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 I have said this and I'll say it again. Um, if anyone tries to take advantage of my daughter physically... She would probably kill she them. She better kill them first. <laughs> she probably would kill them. Like, I could see that she has that in her a little bit, even though she's only two. Like, yeah, she would fuck a dude up. You drop that fucker. Like, she, we, my son's best friend's name is Quinn. He's four. And he's a sweet kid. He's a little rambunctious. And he's, like, well, sometimes, I don't want to say get in her face, but he'll sometimes, like, try to take stuff from her. And, like, you know, like toddlers do. He's a little bit of a... He's a sweet kid. Stubborn. Yeah. He's stubborn and he's, an, uh, well, right now he's an only child. And he, you know, he's used to kind of getting his way. He's a little bossy because, I mean, again, he's four. And, like, he'll try to boss Jack around. And I keep, and I look at him and I'm like, Quinn, one day she is going to knock you on your behind. Mm -hmm. No, she won't. She's little. I'm like, she's not always going to be little. She is a little bundle of muscle. Like, child. yeah. She, like, one day she is going to, like, just knock her her little brother's best friend or her older brother's best friend on his butt and I just I've said this to my friend who's Quinn's mother I've said this to her before I'm like one day she's gonna knock that kid on his ass and I just kind of want to see it and she's like oh no me too 
<laughs> She's like, I cannot wait. Quinn's a sweet kid, but he is a big mouth, if you know what I mean. Oh, come on. You no, can... he is, though. He's that kid. He's, he's very, he's very talkative. But he'll, he's going to be that kid that will say the wrong thing. And... To the wrong person. Yeah, exactly. And probably to Jack. And Jack He'll is just going to... Well, yeah, probably. And Jack will just... Fill it completely. Really you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, that's what I was about to do. No, finish it. I'm I shouldn't... I'm going to do this off camera. So there's no evidence of me dumping up bag in my mouth. Well, I mean, we were shoving them in our face two seconds ago. No, this is more appropriate. Though. Okay. Right above it. Nah, that's not how I'm gonna make it. Shit. I know. I could I could just start over at this point. I'm gonna give it a try though. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay. That was a that was <laughs> maybe they're weak aliens, maybe they just love you. We can make a kiss. Ah, uh, ripples. I made curry for dinner, and it's like curry is like my favorite fall like thing to eat. And so I made curry tonight, and it was really good. But my daughter got basmati rice all over the kitchen. Yeah, about just to clean the kitchen, yeah. And like, I'll, so we're like when we walk morning. around, it just gets on our feet, and I'll do it it's gross. In the morning. Don't. Well, no, you haven't cleaned the kitchen yet. It's fine. Oh my god. What? You. Can you get out safely still? I don't know. I'm only doing one. Just in case. Alright. What's over here? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see. Oh. Fuck. Ass. <laughs> Don't get annoyed. Ugh. Okay, it keeps pushing me off. Did you keep letting it hit you? Look, I did it. Jesus Christ. Ah. What was in there? Oh, the x-ray thing. The x-ray thing, like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, an hour ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are we done now? I, let me get to where we're going. Where are we going? I don't know yet. <laughs> you, you gotta go to work in like a few hours. I know, hold on. Uh, we are going... Let's go. Let's go this way. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah, oh, that's right. Oh, that thing's back. Wait, no. Fuck you. Don't laugh at me. I'm tired. You don't want to keep playing. I just want to get to where we're going. Where are we going? That way. I bought, how are you? I don't want it that bad. Too. Whoa.
a supermodel. I think. No? Mm -hmm. Or x-ray. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. There, there's no way out of here. Okay, let's go back this way. It's probably just a way up. Yeah. Oh. Run fast. Why am I stuck? Okay. So you're stuck in the reception. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's nice to meet you tired on Ashley. Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> You're such a baby. It's my fault you can't do the controls. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh god, shoot up. <laughs> Stop just you're like just you're like you're you're I'm what? You're criticizing me and it's making me bad. <laughs> Shut the hell You are. You're mean. Why am I mean? Because you're criticizing me. You never do that to me at all. No, I'm perfect. It doesn't like you. It doesn't like you. What doesn't like me? Everything. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. Okay, where am I going? I don't know. I, I think don't know either. Like I want to go over there. Well, you can't go over there right now. But I want to. You can't. But I want to. You can't. But I want to. Go to Criteria. Fine, meanie. Why am I mean? Because you're mean. It's not my fault you can't go back. I want to. It's the game designer's fault. You're the game designer's fault. Look at you're making me die. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. Good night, stream. Good night, stream. <laughs> He never goes to sleep, Jesus. He's so mean. Stream, <laughs> Ashley's very ticklish. You're mean. All I did was touch her foot. I know you're mean. Both babies are ticklish, it's fun. My daughter thinks it's funny when I hit myself with things. That is funny. She laughs like it's the funniest thing she's ever seen. I know, it's so cute. Like, ah! <laughs> They're the cutest kids. And you keep doing it like a bunch and then Rosa like start doing like, like, like that deep like chortling laugh. <laughs> and like she'll get all red. <laughs> That's really cute. Ah! It's really freaking cute. At that time I came home from the Overwatch, uh, Overwatch League thing, and I had those, like, noisemaker things get together. Oh, yeah, and, and you were hitting yourself in the face with them, and, and Kirby, losing his mind. Kirby, like, I thought Kirby was gonna pass out. He was laughing so hard at you. <laughs> he, he, he was a walker at the time. He, he, can't, he couldn't even stand up. Yeah, he, he was... And the bouncer. He thought that was the funniest thing he'd ever seen you do. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> like he's like turning red and like <laughs> like I thought he was gonna like pass out from lack of oxygen. That's how funny he thought this was. It was so funny. A video of it on her Facebook page. He like can't breathe. He's laughing so hard at Trevor, and it's <laughs> so cute and so funny. But yeah, it was it was just really cute. Oh my god. Throw me up. Where did you let me out? Let me out. Let me out. Fuck you. I keep getting like full energy and then I go to like suspend it and I do it wrong and I die. Not die, but well, you know what I mean. You gotta not do it wrong. <sighs> That's the key. I love you. Oh, do you know what I have to do? Uh, what? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, huh? And don't do full jumps either. I'm trying not to. I'm not like that. It won't let me go. It's gonna hide you and boost back on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn him back off again and load up on energy right here. I know, I'm, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna get to what's it called and stop. <laughs> where are we going? Where's that? I, don't know. I know where we're going now. Look what you made me do. I didn't do shit. <laughs> you fell in the thing. I fell in the thing because you're distracting me with your meanness. I'm not being mean. How am I being mean? <laughs> Because you wouldn't answer my question. Because I, I didn't know where we were going yet, and now I do. And I'm trying to get there, and you're making me die. If I die here because of you, I'm going to be really pissed. It's not like a safe seat or anything. Turn them back on. Probably should have done that and then saved. Yeah. It's nice to have. What? I just saved it in the game just to have it. Okay. 
All right, so let's look at the map when we get up here really quick and decide what we're doing and then we'll stop and we'll um, go here next time. So let's look at the map. What's the criteria for criteria? <laughs> I know. You noticed that, did you? Let's get where we're going. Let's get this over. All you gotta do is change one little letter. It's a fun little time. Ooh, you can go in here before because you got super bombs. I know. Oh, this is the. This might be the ship. Nope, I need my grapple for this. So we will do this next time. Yay. So let's really quick create. <laughs> I was gonna say the world, yes, right. Mm-hmm. Create. So when I go in here after a few beers and I try to sail over them, won't be a problem. Okay. So, we will play more grapple next time. We play what? More s grapple. <laughs> grapple gun. This is Metroid. This is Met Super Metroid. We're Metroid going to grapple. <laughs> Basically, look, it's the, that's what I'm going to have to do grapple next time. Dread. Grapple dread. <laughs> Super grapple droid. Dread. <laughs> Super, Super grapple dread. Super grape. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> We are tired and we are punchy. Thank you for playing bot um, that showed up. Uh, we missed our, our our other friends, but I will see them again, I'm sure. Probably busy after all. After, oh, I'm sure, after yeah. After Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, leading into Christmas. Thanks, Halloween. Miss. And the holidays. The holidays. Um, so po tomorrow at 3 o'clock is the Pokemon stream with... Trevor featuring the Dudos. Yay! Kirby Lincoln's uh, deb debut. He, uh, that will be fun for you all. Um, I'm sorry I'm going to miss it because I'm at work. And then Friday is... Saturday. No, yes, Saturday. We switched it to Saturdays. Saturday is... Met yeah. Trevor's going to play Metroid Dread. Yeah. Yep. I hope you all had fun. Yeah. We need to go clean the kitchen at 1 a.m. <sighs> yeah, I need to clean up out in the living room and go to bed because I have to work tomorrow morning. I so. work too. No, you don't. Your tomorrow's your day off. Yeah, stream. Oh, okay. That's the gotta same as them. getting gotta, up gotta and doing your hair and putting on makeup and going to the office. I'm doing all that to catch them all. Mm. Okay. All right. Good night, stream. Good night, guys. See you next time. See ya.